Hey everyone, parts have arrived. We got our small water pump here. It's a nine volt DC power water pump. It does 200 liters per hour and a max height of 1.5 meter. Uh, you know, it's just a little small one because I don't have a, I'm not gonna be making a big aquaponic system, but this should be, I think this should be enough. It should be about around 50 meter or 50 gallons per hour. So let's see what we got inside. Uh, okay. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. It's a small pump here. 3.5 volts to 9 volts. Um, not much to say, I got this one with the USB because I was going to use a, a battery bank to power it up outside and maybe hopefully go into solar power later. But I'm going to use this battery bank. This is probably uh, 1200 milliamps per per hour or milliamps out hour. And I'm just going to plug it in, supply the Oh, oh it, it, it went in. I uh, don't want to do it yet, but we'll test that out later. And this is the bank that I'm going to be using to power it up. Also, we got our Fino tubing. This is actually a food grade one. About 10 feet long, so won't run out of a... Won't run out of tube that soon, I'm not going to be cutting that much, and hopefully this fits here. Uh, yep, okay, there you go. Well, 10 feet of vinyl tubing, DC water pump, and also we got our great clay pebbles. Here's the clay pebbles. I got a big bag because I'm probably just gonna expand the grow bed a little bit, and you know. Not nothing much. Everything just came. So let's go ahead and test out the water pump. All right, so we're outside. We're going to do a little pump test to see how strong this pump really is. And I'm going to plug it up into this USB, the battery bank that I had earlier. And let's see how much uh, power it can give this little pump. Okay, let's plug it in. Come on. Uh... Not as high as we thought it would be. Let's try to adjust uh nope, that's lowering it. Hmm. That's nowhere near three feet. But we're only giving it five volts. That's what the battery bank can supply. Maybe if we get a nine volt battery and connect that up it'll probably be higher so let's go uh, actually we're just gonna go and rinse out the clay pebbles because I get a lot of reviews that there's a lot of debris in it and that it floats and you got to soak it overnight so I'm gonna go ahead and go do that and then be sure to subscribe so and then you can see the updates on when I connect everything together all right thank you